We are ready for our next guest. We're ready for the next guest, and the trolley is coming by right now. Don't forget, you can park at the transfer station. Rick, Rick Roth. Uh, Maureen and Corey, I had no idea. <laughs> now Rick Roth from the Cape Ann Vernal Pond team. So important. What a draw. Work that you're you're doing. a draw for these events, Rick. Yeah. I'm not a draw. Yes, you are. The animals I bring are a draw. Well, that's right. true. And you'll find, are you trying to point that at I me am. for some I'm reason? I'm pointing that yes. at you because yes, you're going to speak into yes. that. And just lady just back to there know. who's doing the punching the buttons right. and everything. Do you so have anyway, a little friend? Yeah. Do you have a here? license for that knapsack? I a pillowcase <laughs> yeah. because I thought I might need a nap. <laughs> <laughs> but I think what I'll do instead is just open it and see if there's anything in here. You made a request. Yeah, to the beer tent. There's a Beer tent? Yeah. Oh. All right. Now we're talking. Uh, so this is the Taiwanese rat snake. Hello. Now what's prettier than that when you think about it? Gorgeous. Now this one's a little edgy, so you don't want to get near his mouth. Okay. But oh, okay. but he is totally and completely cool. This Beautiful. is a full tropical Asian snake that you just gotta love. You know. So anyway, we have we brought a whole bunch of snakes here. We're doing two exhibits today. One of them is vernal pools and we have a whole bunch of vernal pool critters there frogs salamanders snakes and turtles mm -hmm. and then we also have our snakes of new england in a world exhibit with a whole bunch of native new england snakes and then a whole bunch of other snakes from all around the world so hello um as it turns out a lot of people really like snakes and uh, especially if they get a positive introduction and they're not yeah. being chased down the street by their brother or something like yes, that. Yes, yes. You know? <laughs> so, now, Rick, can you explain just momentarily the, the mission of the Cape Ann Vernal Pond team? Well, basically, what our mission is, is to try and protect that particular habitat called a vernal pond. They're small wetlands and temporary wetlands. And the whole point of that is that there's no fish. Fish are major predators. So once they get in there, they're going to eat up a lot of eggs and larvae and all kinds of little bugs and crawlies in there mm -hmm. and swimmies and stuff like that. So if there's no fish, that means a lot of species of salamanders and frogs and insects and all kinds of other stuff that's down there. Oh, I thought that was a snake. It's, yeah, the, microphone it's the microphone cord. <laughs> but anyway, um, they're down there and they can. Uh, so they the cumulative effect of these vernal pools feeds more forest wildlife than any other kind of wetland. So they're actually extremely important to the ecology. And the way I figure it, if you can save wildlife habitat, you're helping to save the planet because all those trees and plants out there are making oxygen that we're using up all the time. So uh, it's it's really good stuff. And, and we have one on the stretch. We have a vernal pond on the stretch. We have a cluster of nine of them yeah. right on the Nugent stretch where the yeah. signs are, huh. yes. Right. So, so how was it, was it successful? I mean, I know that you um, monitor the vernal yeah. ponds around Cape Ann. Well, it's, it's, here's the thing. The snowplow guy dumped, got a bunch of stuff built up in front of his plow. And so he shoved it all into one of the vernal pools. And a few people noticed it and said, you know, we wish you wouldn't do that. And it, it, it's mass highways is the people who do that, the, who, you know, who plow it. So, so we just said, hey, let's just put up some signs and tell your guys not to push stuff, gravel and stuff into the pools. And so far it seems to have worked. Nice. Yeah. So it's great. And you take a part in a lot of these community events all the time, not only to show off. Yes. But um, but to educate too. And it's absolutely yeah. um, it's it's amazing. Uh, this is one of the most misunderstood animals on the planet right here. A snake. And so uh, just anything you can say about them that's not what your neighbor said mm -hmm. is uh, is usually beneficial to most people, and, and you'll find that um, they're beautiful. You know, they're, they really I've, are beautiful. I've been I've been keeping snakes for 61 years. Yeah. I've caught thousands and thousands of snakes in the wild. I've never been chased by a snake. I've never been bitten by one I didn't pick up. Yeah. yeah. So you know, you leave them alone, they'll leave you alone. And this so is just I'm the, sorry. The, the Cape Ann Vernal Pond team has um, a booth over at Harvey Park. Over there. And um, you oh, over there, <laughs> <Right> over there. <laughs> that way. Yeah. Um, and you have a lot more snakes. You've got an exhibit over yeah. there that's happening. We got so. frogs, salamanders, turtles. So come down yeah. and see us. We're Wait. having fun. Rick Roth, thanks for joining so us. Thanks Fair so much. Nice to see day. you both again. Yeah. Great to see you. Right. Thanks for stopping Bye. by.